I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from Mr. Rust, one of my longest and most loyal viewers, who begins his question with an apology for some perceived slight. Mr. Rust, I, I appreciate your sensitivity, and I've spent enough time around Canadians that I understand the pathological need to apologize for every little thing, but I assure you that I, I take no offense. There is absolutely no need. Now, Mr. Rust's question follows naturally from this apology. He notes that oftentimes when a, a public figure, such as a politician or a celebrity, is caught in some indiscretion or makes some off-color remark, they are brought forward in front of the cameras to offer up an apology. Many times, these apologies are rather empty. They, of course, are sorry that they were caught, but they equivocate and they make prevarications, and in the end, so many times, the apology comes down to a, I'm sorry you are upset that X, Y, and Z. There's no sense of remorse. There's no sense of ownership. And I find that absolutely troubling. If you are truly sorry, then say it. Mean it. Man up. If you don't mean it, well, then stick to your guns. Double down. Don't just make excuses or play at making these forms. Take me, for example. There are many people who would love for me to apologize for many of the things I've said and written. Indeed, um, there's a one particular viewpoint I've espoused from time to time, mostly in private correspondence, although I confess that uh, really a man should be held accountable for not just what he says publicly, but also what he says when he thinks no one is listening. This opinion, uh, many have claimed, colored my work, and perhaps there's some truth in it. But I tell you this, in front of everyone, I will never apologize. I don't care if so-called social progress deems me a monster. Ban my books if you must strike me from the public record, but I am adamant. I will never be sorry for what I've said about Ernest Hemingway. That man is nigh unreadable. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.